Jane Binion here, how you doing? It's Saturday morning, I've not long got back from a lovely holiday in Sicily uh, where I always get to recharge myself in a way that sitting at my office desk I really can't. Um, and today I just wanted to share with you a real light bulb moment I've had regarding why as freelancers, self-employed people, we absolutely should not be sharing our hourly rates with our customers. So while I was away, I had my kitchen redecorated and I love it, bright yellow. I absolutely love it. And I completely trust the guy that did it. I've known him for years. <clears throat> He's been doing jobs for me and my mom for years. And I've got no problem with him. His work is great. However, Something changed this time. And when I came back, sitting on my desk, because he is completely transparent, leaves me all the receipts for the material. And that this time, he left me this, which was an hourly breakdown of his work. Now, the overall bill was more than I was expecting as well. So I was a little bit thrown by that but the work was good so that's fine. What really interested me though was my response to the hourly bill. Okay so let's be, just be clear I'm not a decorator it isn't my skill. I employ lots of people who have skills that I don't okay best thing to do and I don't need to know any detail. I need to know that they can do the job, that they're going to do it, and they're going to do it well. Okay, that's it. So when they left this hourly breakdown, like a timesheet, I read it and went, really? It took five and a half hours to do that? Really? Okay, and I went through that. Now, let's just remind you that I have no idea about decorating. But all of a sudden, I started thinking that I knew better than him. And that is why I really got it. We don't share our hourly rates. I absolutely have had that drummed into me uh, since I first went self-employed, but didn't really get it. And now I do. I'm an ethical trader. I want to pay people a fair wage. Um, all that, okay? And if it messes with my head, I suspect it may do the same for other people. So our job when we run a business, whether you're a freelancer, sole trader, whatever, is to know the price of the job and to be clear about that. That means we have to know our hourly rate. We have to be really comfortable with our hourly rate. Then we have to add travel and materials or whatever else we need to add. And what we need to tell the customer is, this is how much it will cost you. That's it. That's all they want to know, okay? Because then they can make a decision. They can decide, yeah, great, that's fine. Or what's a bit much? Can we do anything about that? Okay. But... When you go, okay, I'll do the job, this is my hourly rate, and I'll tell you at the end, that's not a great way of doing it. It means people don't know how much they're going to pay. It means the final bill can be a bit of a shock. If you don't know exactly, if you can't work out exactly how much it's going to be, then you say it will be between this and this. Absolutely no more than this. And then if you can do it less than that, then brilliant. People are really happy. So I hope that makes sense. And if you've been telling people your hourly rate and sending them an itemized bill, um, then maybe have a rethink about it. Because as a customer, we don't need to know. We don't get it. But we might start thinking that we know better than you. I don't say to people, as a trainer, you're going to pay me this much an hour. I say, this is how much it is. 
um, and they will like that or if they won't like it. If I say it's this much an hour, then they might start saying, oh, okay, let's have a couple of hours less. All right, and that just they're not going to get the right training. They have to trust me that I know what I'm doing and I am clear with them, this is how much it costs and then we take it from there. Okay, I hope that's been useful. Let me know your thoughts. If, that, if you don't agree with that or if you do agree with that or if you've had experiences as a customer or a trader, let me know, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear your stories. Okay, have a great week. Bye.